So previously, we set up a website using the CSS version of the startup framework. And in this tutorial, we're going to take that CSS version and we're going to move it over to the less version. So in the editor underneath our developer folder, if we go into the samples folder, scroll down to the bottom and open up the template folder, we can see we have template CSS as well as template less. And previously, we used the template CSS file. And if we open up the template less file, we can see that this is very similar to the CSS version, except rather than listing out all of these CSS files we see here, it only has this one CSS file right here. And that's because we're going to set up our less to compile out to that one style.css file rather than having all those CSS files in our head. So if we take a look under the template, we also see this less folder. And if we open up the less file, we can see that this is all the CSS that kicks off our startup framework code. And from here, we can pick and choose all of the UI blocks that we're actually using. But we need to keep these right up here. This startup base path variable is very important because it's actually used throughout all the files within the startup framework. And what it does is it tells us how to get back to the base of our startup framework folder. And if we go up three spaces, we'll be at the root of our startup folder. So we'll make sure to keep these and then we'll pick and choose from the ones we need. Well, we don't have any blog sections, so we can get rid of that. And we're just using a couple content sections. And that's content three, content 12, and content 23. We're not using crew, and we're only using the first footer. And then we're using header two dot less. And we're not using any price and project, so we can get rid of these as well. So now that we have this less file set up, we just need to set it to compile out to the CSS folder. And since we don't have that CSS folder, we need to create it real quick. So now we have the CSS folder, and if we open it up, we have a blank CSS file. So what we want to do is we want to set this style.less to compile into the style.css. And there's multiple ways you can do this. And it really depends on what platform you're using. A lot of people have built in less compilation processes into their web projects. And if you have that, then just go ahead and use that. But if you haven't done this before, you're going to need to either set up some type of process or download an application. If you're new to it, I highly recommend starting out with downloading an application before you set up an automatic compilation process. So one of the applications I really like using is called Crunch. And with Crunch, you can just open up a file and it'll compile it out to less. So we have our style.less open up in Crunch. And if I click on Crunch file, it's gonna want to know where to save this. So I'll click on CSS, I'll hit save, and we will replace it. And we can see that it created the CSS file for us. And this will be available back in our text editor as well. So back in our text editor, this is our compiled out style.css. So now if we go back into template less, we are setting up our style.css to compile out from our less file, but we don't actually have any HTML. So we'll go into our template CSS and we'll go and copy all of the HTML from inside here and paste it into our less file. And we'll make sure to stop before the page wrap closes. So now that we have this pasted in, let's check it out in the browser. So now that we have this open up in the browser, we'll scroll through and we can see that it looks just like the CSS version. So in this tutorial, we quickly took the CSS version and we ported it over to the less version. We saw that within the startup framework that there's already useful template files that'll help us get set up much faster than we would by hand. So now that we have these code blocks and our less files set into place, we'd really like to go through and customize this. So in the next tutorial, we'll go through this project and we'll customize it into something of our own.